Hey YouTube world, I have been gone for I feel way too long from doing these uh, reviews. Uh, I was out of town and picked up some great, great, great new products that I want to share with everyone. So the first video that I am doing is on one of my favorite companies that I have done, um, well, have reviewed before, and it's Cora's. And so, needless to say, I'm so happy with every Chorus product that I own that I decided that it was time for me to make some new purchases. And um, the first one I want to show you guys is the shower gel. And um, this shower gel, it's new packaging from the last time I bought a shower gel, which was exactly a year ago, and I bought it in mint tea. It was actually a repurchase. I could not find mint tea anywhere um, that Cora's gets sold in the in the states. I've searched Sephora. I've searched um, I've searched Cora's uh, online store mm -hmm. through their their website and. For whatever reason, um, it's never in stock, and I was afraid that it was discontinued, but um, I managed to find it. I actually was back in London again, and I found it in Liberty of London, and they have a little counter in the cosmetics section. And um, so basically, even though the description is... Um, or the name is mint tea. I can tell you there's nothing minty about it, in my opinion. It's more fresh, sort of like ocean, sort of, I don't know, seaweed. The only way that I can put this is that it's a fresh scent. And I ended up buying four. I gave one away, but I ended up buying four because... I'm obsessed with the way this smells, and they don't have a lotion or any other product that is the same scent. So I bought four of them, and it can be a shower gel, which is lovely. It can also be a bath, um, <laughs> bubble bath. I'm still a little jet lagged, so I'm losing my words here and there. But um, basically can go over this again. So it's 90.8% natural. Um, there's no mineral oil, no petroleum, no silicone, no parabens, no propylene glycol, no no pegs, no um, no synthetic dyes. What they do have is, um, and it's in a very small quantity, they do have, uh, let's look for the, the, the stuff that I kind of always try and avoid um we'll see they shorten it to say that they have SLES so I'm not really sure it, what that stands for so that's a little misleading but there's no alcohol there's no animal byproducts um and there's no nuts in case that's a worry for anyone if you know what SLES stands for, 100%, I would have to guess that maybe it's something to do with sorrel, sodium lauryl sulfates, but what's the E for? Not really sure. In any case, it's a small amount because it's 90.8% natural. This cost me seven pounds. Um, it's not the hugest amount, but it's not. I don't feel like I got ripped off either. So that's that. Next product I got, which is also new packaging for me, um, the last body butter that I got, which was in guava from Sephora, came in a tube. And this one is this delightful pump. And I got it in yogurt. And this is another scent where I can see why they might have called it yogurt, but it's more than, more than you can imagine in terms of like yogurt seems like it should be something bland and the last thing that I would ever say is that this scent is bland definitely not bland and it is so so nourishing like beyond nourishing um if there was a way for you to see that it, it leaves like I've I've made clear many times before I like lotions that leave uh like an oilier 
um, if you want to call it residue, you can, an oilier feel to the touch, and also, um, to me, it makes my skin look a lot healthier. So, again, this is um, a repurchase in a way because I've had their body butter, and I love their body butter, but I went for a different scent, and they, they describe the scent as pure and clean, um, and yeah, I guess I, I definitely pure and clean, but it's a little on the sweeter side than rather that like the mint tea that I just reviewed was probably more of a clean smell, but I would say that this is um, a little sweeter than just saying that it's pure and clean. Let's get into the ingredients for those of you that want to know. Um, Okay, so there is sweet almond oil, yogurt, which yogurt is the one, two, fourth ingredient. So at least it's important to know that, that Cora's, um, if they call something yogurt, it's not going to be the last ingredient. So they actually put yogurt into uh, this product. And yogurt I've done a little bit of study studying on and it, it balances pH it's it's nourishing um, soothing it can be really good if you have like if your skin is distressed in any way let's say you got too bad of a sunburn or you're dry yogurt is always good um, and okay let's get back to the ingredients it's hard to read I see avocado oil I see um, glycerin and honestly it has nothing to do with me not wanting to read you the ingredients it's super blurry so I guess that's the downside of this new packaging um, and it has an expiration date which means that the preservatives are probably not as strong as something in um, like a drugstore brand product so here we go yogurt a natural source of lactose proteins minerals and vitamins instantly hydrates and relieves dry skin areas it's also anti-inflammatory and so this scores 10 out of 10 with me and my skin and this is perfect for the summer like couldn't be a better scent and it couldn't be a better feel for summertime and the last new this is totally new for me, and I'd never even seen it, and I didn't know that this existed, is their Toning Body Mist. And I got it in Fig. If they had it in mint tea or in uh, yogurt, those scents, I would have gotten it in those. But I saw, I think, Jasmine and a warm vanilla and a Fig. And Jasmine's definitely not my thing. Um, and vanilla, pure vanilla, it's too sweet for me. So I went and got the Fig. So... What is a toning body mist? Well, it says that it's rich in sodium, magnesium, zinc, and manganese, which is a multi-mineral complex that works to restore energy to skin cells. Now, it's, fig is kind of, uh, it's, it's hard to describe the way that it smells, besides the fact that I think it smells delicious. It's more of like a spicy smell. And... Uh, again, it says 86.7% natural content, and it has all those uh, no this, that, and the other um, that you, you could probably go online and see. Only thing is, is that when I get out of the shower and I want to spray myself with something, I really, um, I really wish that the first ingredient was not alcohol because I don't want to strip my skin when I get out of the shower. But it does have other ingredients like we just like I just mentioned, which maybe counteracts that, but there's um, panthenol and basically what I'm gonna say is this. I wouldn't repurchase this based on the fact that like the yeah, there aren't any of those terrible ingredients that I try and avoid, but also, um, I don't see that it's it doesn't the smell doesn't last that long and I don't see the the actual benefit I'd rather put the lotion on and I'm running out of time and um, I guess this is the first chorus product that I probably wouldn't purchase but not for anything terrible just because I wouldn't um, it's there we go 950 and uh, nine pounds 50 cents there you go sorry had to rush bye